Most people in America are familiar with our laws. They really do know what is and isn't okay to do today. But we also have a growing subset of people who kind of come out of Harry Potter days. And no offense to J.K. Rowling, but there are a lot of people who are loving of Malfoys. And the people who love the darkness of the Lord are foolish. Because the darkness of the Lord is a Satan and a satanic force. But the problem is that God didn't make that force for you to choose it. You see, God made that force for you to not be abused by it. But God made that force to force you to make a decision to draw yourself through prayer and honesty back to God. When people lie to themselves about their rights and about who they are, they lie to themselves in every way. When people lie to themselves about what they can do in America, they lie to themselves thinking they have the right to say. You see, there's always an opposite direction. There's always an opposing view. But when you step outside of your own boundaries of your life to do damage as you do, you put your entire life in Satan's hands. You've not understood that God is God, and Jesus is Jesus, and Odin is Odin, and angels can do a lot beholden to them. But here's what I know, you foolish bastards of Christianity, that you're so stupid about the Holy Ghost that you're missing everything. You're missing the magic of God. You are failing to see Jesus and his magic. And openly we have tons of stories in the Bible about how Jesus, or a.k.a. Mohammed, did things. You see, God can just choose any name he wants to for his children is true. But God is challenging you every single day to be better than you've been before. When a group or demographic group or a community group start to abuse other people in the name of their God or in the name of some sort of social play or in the name of some sort of social media game, they literally lose their rights. Because at some point, a righteous policeman will do their job. At some point, an effective policewoman will do their job. But until they do their job, we have abuse. We have abuse by view, a, an abuse by you that makes you think you're above other people and you're not we have fought many many world wars overseas and domestically to allow people the freedom that we have let freedom ring is usually what we sing every 4th of July but did you already forget what that event was about if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about then I can't help you if you're open-minded about what can and can't happen in a conspiracy, then I might find you. But if God is not seeing your soul aligned with him, what happens to you? You may end up with COVID. You see, God has the right to tell you what is and isn't true. And for a millennium, God has been providing that. The Christian right that thinks they have the right to starve homeless people or put them in jail will end up in hell. And what most people don't recall and most people don't remember about the Bible, the Quran, or other works around the world is that God describes hell. And in Dante's Inferno, we actually get sort of an idea of hell. But my guess is he was allowed in the Vatican archives to see all the different satanic forces that come about. And we know that they do move around, around the earth and come out of hell. Hellboy was an actual person. Most people didn't realize that. They thought it was just a cartoon, and it is truthful, according to them. But the people that don't want to believe that there could be a hell, don't get it, that they could be going to hell. A lot of people say, I'm going to hell over this. And you're like, well, you might be. You might actually, in the afterlife, get chosen to go to hell for retraining, for education, for lessons on life, and where you failed yourself before God. But at the same time, we have people who don't know that there is a hell. I have some old metaphysical friends who said, I don't believe in God, and I don't believe in hell. Like, well, good for you, but what the fuck do you think moves this fob? You see, if I wanted to show you the force of Star Wars, you'd start freaking out, you black bastards, because you don't want to know that God can do that. You are terrified to see that Jesus Christ could save your life in a car accident. That your failure to recognize God as Lord has put you in this predicament. That your 
behavior embarrasses you without you knowing it is probably true and that your foolishness in your community embarrasses the whole fucking community and that doesn't matter what community it's representing you see if you're a black community a white community an indian community an asian community a polynesian community it doesn't matter what people do is they associate their experiences with you to other people so if one of you fucks up completely and it makes the news it almost taints not only your whole family but it taints everyone that knew you 